Tando was my special boy. He was just um, loving, very caring boy. It, the plan was to celebrate his birthday the weekend on Tuesday then, that was it. Ambulance services, the patient breathing. No! The patient's not breathing, tell me no, exactly what's No, he's, he's drowned, lad. Right, tell me exactly what's happened. Basically, yeah. he said he, he told me, yeah, he could swim, and he's gone in this lake, and he's not coming back up for a good six minutes now. Right, okay, what's the full address of the emergency? Oh, do they know this address? I don't even know it. Do you have a smartphone? I'm going to send you a message. I need you to open it up. It's called What Three Words, and that will tell me exactly where you are, okay? Okay. Right, you... now what? Now what? Right, open it up, and it should give you three words. Yeah, flashback. Flashback. Flashing. And the last word? And um, snail. So I'm organising that help you now to stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Do not okay. go into the water, okay? Okay. And do you know how old he is? Yeah, he's 15. 15. Male or female? Male. And do not go into the water, okay? okay. If it is safe to do so, throw an inflatable object out to find the person and hold on to him. Can you see him? No. I was mobilised to the incident and I was made aware this was a, a water rescue. Uh, we'd had information to suggest a 15-year-old boy um, was uh, in danger in the water uh, and then subsequently they'd been submerged for approximately eight minutes. I remember um, being stood by the, by the river and thinking how calm um, and how still the water looked. The reality was far, far from that. Um, and I remember um, speaking to one of the dive team who um, were, were carrying out subsurface search. And they described the conditions as being similar to those experienced in the middle of winter, um, which really just went to show um, how uh, misunderstood um, the river conditions and the hazards associated with water uh, really are. The conditions were treacherous. Uh, the river is hazardous. Uh, the, 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 the water temperature, irrespective of the weather on the day being significantly hot, the water temperature was extremely cold um, and even the strongest swimmers would, would struggle in those conditions. During the incident we started to get a little bit more information to suggest that uh, we were looking for a, a 15 year old boy called Tando. It was my son talking on the phone and I says, he was, you know, like sort of with this pressure of speech and I was like, what's going on? And now the police are said, just slow down. Tell me what's happening. And then when that call came in, it was just like, what? What water? Where? We got home, straight to the water. And I didn't sleep that night. Then went home and just to wait for the worst moment of our lives. So, yeah. I remember about half past 11 that morning, I'm um, receiving a radio message um, informing me that the police dive team had located a body on the riverbed. The policeman knocked on the door, so I spoke to us, told us they found the body. I just felt like the earth could open and swallow me as well, you know, because I was like, what's the point of going on, you know, it was really difficult. That was the worst feeling of my life. Of course, at that time, a lot was going on in my mind. And, um, but I think it was just one big relief of saying I found my son's body. What I would ask is uh, parents, guardians, carers, uh, please have the conversation about water safety. Um, it's still a, a massively misunderstood uh, risk um, entering the water. You know, we, we've, we've done a, a fantastic job of educating young people in the, the risks of fire, of road safety, but water safety is still hugely misunderstood. Um, even though the water looked calm and, and safe on the day, uh, tragically that wasn't the case. Um, and tragically, we still continue to attend incidents like this that are preventable. Um, the risk of cold water shock, the uh, currents, the unseen hazards under the surface, uh, they're just a number of things that could potentially cause a serious injury or, or tragically, as we know in the case of Tando, um, the loss of life. Open water, it's, it's tempting when the sun is blazing. You know, our heat, their heat, we are normally cold country. When the sun comes, it comes for sure. That you feel like tempted to just dive in anything that is water to cool down. It is the hardest thing ever, so let's try and talk to our children. Yes, we might look, uh, you know, as parents, we are old-fashioned, we don't know what's happening, but we know what is dangerous. 
And if we say it's dangerous, it is dangerous. I'm talking from an experience. I've lost a child I loved so much. A child who was, you know, who had, a, 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 you know, a happy life. A child who was adored. So if uh, it happened to him, it can happen to anyone. I don't want, uh, you know, any other child to be the next victim. So I, I will bleed to any child to say, just think about what, you did, what you're doing. No, you know, don't, if, if you're not comfortable with doing something, don't do it. You're not, you know, peer pressure because the other children will say do it. But if you feel like, no, I can't, don't be embarrassed to say, I can't do this. You know, I'm not comfortable doing it and walk away. You would rather be laughed at for la walking away than being the talk of a memory. It is heartbreaking. I wish today I could be, you know, don't know, telling a story to my child or, you know, having a, a, a beautiful tale about my child. He's not there. I haven't got that child anymore to tell any beautiful thing. I want, you know, I've got a lot. I had plans. I had dreams. So I would love another parent to understand or a child to understand that, you know, it's beautiful to have you around. So don't do it yourself. Just listen and keep yourself safe. Don't be pressured by anyone. So this child had dreams. This, this was a clever child who wanted to achieve a lot, but just with a small, whatever, it, it went wrong. So don't do it.